Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Ibrahim's World Vision. Today I have done a project that is attendance system for office. This project is mainly used for the employees and whoever works in an office. So whenever they enter, the data of, of entering will be stored in the Excel directly using the Node MCU. As uh, you know, few months before I did a project which, which was RFID based lock. So we can implement this system in that lock system. So at that time, whenever we scan, only at that time the door will be open and whoever has entered, the name will be uh, stored in this card. So whenever they scan it, it will be stored in the Excel. So if you are watching my channel for the first time, please subscribe and like my video so that it will notify you whenever I upload a video and it will motivate me to do more projects. Now let us see how the project works and how it is done. Let us see what are the components required. Uh, ESP826 board also known as Node MCU with a breadboard, uh, RC522 RFID module, LCD display with I2C module attached. This is the I2C module, two card and tag for uh, the scanning, a buzzer, few jumper wires, double set tape, two screws and a board to assemble all this. Now let me assemble this and we'll start the connections. Now I've finished the setup of this project in this board. Now let us start the connections. I'll give the image of the connections here. Now first I'm connecting the buzzers positive to D8 and negative to G and D. Now let me connect the LCDs wires. Connect the positive of the LCD display to VIN of the non MCU and the GND to GND. Now let us connect the SDA and SCL. Connect the SDA to D1 and SCL to D2. Now let us connect the RFID's connections. Connect the 3.3 volt pin of the RFID, 3.3 volt of the node MCU and the GND goes to GND and the RST which is between the 3.3 volt and the GND goes to D3 and the last wire which is the SDA of the RFID goes to D4 and the SCK goes to D5 and the MISO connected to D6 and connect the MOSI to D7 and now all the connections are done. Now we are done with the connection and we need to create a Google spreadsheet so that we can get the data and we need to upload the code in this uh, ESP826 board. So let me uh, do the process so that we can create the spreadsheet. Let me minim maximize it and the easiest way to open the spreadsheet is by clicking the uh, 9 dots on the top right which is the Google Apps. Now Select the sheets and click on blank spreadsheet. I'll just change this 100% into 150 so that it will be visible for you. And change the title of the spreadsheet as RFID Attendance System. And in the first box, it should be date, in the second, time. And in the third one, give it as name. Now select these threes and uh, select the text as bold and the color of the box should be yellow. You can keep whatever you want. In my case, I'm choosing it as yellow. Now select these three rows and columns and change the size into 15 and give the borders so that uh, it would be visible now we are done with this excel part now click on extensions click on app script now i have given the authorization so here we can see that the card holder name is stored in column c now here as i give test one it has came now let me give a different name i'll just give my name click on enter Again, my name has been here. So the Excel part is completed. Now let me open the Arduino ID so that we can work this thing with the Node MCU. 
and for this project we totally have two codes one is the main code and the other one is for giving the name to the card now let me open the card holder name code the three codes would be given in the description now let me connect the node mcu and now here in this code in the 14th line we need to give the name of the card so I am just giving Ibrahim and uh, let me choose the board and the proper tool in the tool just go select the board which is the node MCU 1.0 and the port for me it's showing USB serial as I am using Mac in Windows it would be uh, seen as COM port now let me upload it now the code has been uploaded right? now let me scan the card I am using this blue tag now I have scanned it now let me change the name I am just giving my brother's name which is Fazil and upload the code again. now the code has been uploaded now let me scan it now the both the tags and the car, uh, both the tag and the card has uh, stored their name now let me open the main code and this is the main code here we have the libraries and uh, in the 26th line we need to paste the url which we got now let me copy it and paste it here and here you can see the url has came and uh, here we need to type the Wi-Fi password and the Wi-Fi uh, name and uh, here we are uh, giving the address of the LCD which is 0x27 if it doesn't work you can change it into 0x3f now select the right port and board and click on up it's been uploaded now let us see how the project works the code has been uploaded let me click the reset now it is showing as initializing in the LCD display as it is being connected to the Wi-Fi, the node MCU. After it gets connected, it starts to blink. And here we get it, uh, the get the text as scan, uh, scan your card. Now let me open the Excel so that you can see the data. Now I will scan this card uh, tag which is uh, stored as Ibrahim. Hello, hey Ibrahim, welcome. And here the data will come. In this the date and time is the time which I am shooting. Now as I am uploading in uh, Saturday the date may differ. So let me scan this card which has a different name store. Hey Fazil welcome. And here uh, we will get the uh, date on the name and the timing. Now you can see that the project is working very nice. Uh, you can also try it in your home and uh, in your office also you can set it. Now I am just using two cards as I have only minimum. Even you can uh, type, uh, edit the code like whenever someone enters uh, the entry time and whenever someone exists the exist time can be printed in the LCD and uh, in the Excel. In future I will do. If you are watching my channel for the first time please subscribe and like this video so that it would motivate me to do more projects and whenever i upload the video you would get notified thank you for watching bye